A student once approached me, took out a cigarette, wanted to ask me a question. He saw that I looked perplexed. I wasn't accepting the fact that he was going to take out a cigarette and smoke in front of me. He said, Rabbi, don't you know that three times as many people die from eating and consuming sugar than smoking? He had a good point. Would you take away a Snickers bar? Or would you look at me badly if I was about to take out a Twix or Kit Kat and chuck it away? Rabbi, that's what I told my mum anyway. She believed that baloney. But you're a rabbi, I'm going to put it away. It got me thinking. The words that we say are very, very powerful. But the way in which we say it, well, that's just as powerful. In fact, psychologists say verbal communication is only 7%. Body language is 55% and the tone of voice is 38%. Think about those three factors next time that you talk. It's communication via the words, it's the actual tone of voice, and it's the body language that gives it over. In this week's Pasha, Moshe Rabbeinu is about to pass away. It's the first of Shabbat. He's going to pass away on the 7th of Adar, 36, 37 days later. And he wants to give over his legacy. He wants to make sure that the people are prepared for the land of Israel. And they remember where they were and where they're going to. He reminds them. He wants to rebuke them. But says Rav Shmulevitz, he rebukes them on the side. This is how we need to rebuke people. He doesn't tell them, you sin by the golden calf, you sin by the spy, you sin by Korah. Rather, he says, remember these places where we were? And of course, you remember the place, you remember what happened in the place. And you try and ameliorate, you try and better yourself. And this is what he said, Dizahav, Chatzerot, all these different places. Ele Hadevarim, this is the right way of speaking. As Rav Hashem, we're in the nine days, we need more achdud. we need to get rid of the sinat chinam, the basis hatred. How do we do it? Concentrate on the words, concentrate on the tone, concentrate on the body language. And Bezad Hashem, with those words, we should give life and we should bring peace to Amisel Amen.